as time goes by, I'm, I'm understanding more about how women cope with the being different. And what they may do throughout their life is try to cope with that difference. One is to escape into imagination. And so that person may not be valued and accepted by others, but they escape into reading fiction. And they're great readers of fantasy novels. And they write fantasy novels. And they have imaginary friends. They're not a problem. Not a problem at school to other people. But they realize if I'm not respected and valued in this world, I escape into imagination. And if they're talented, they may do that, do that as a writer, as an artist, as sometimes an actor. And some will develop the ability to act so well that I was talking to someone with Asperger's who is a professional actor, who said, in response to people saying, but you must be so anxious on stage, he said, no, I'm very happy on stage because I know what she's going to say, I know what he's going to say, I know what I say, I know where I stand. I'm relaxed. Life is predictable. So some may be successful in that imitation to make it a career, and they are born mimic, they have the ability to act the persona of other people. But what we have to do is see behind the facade, behind the mask, to identify who is the real person. So they can escape into imagination, they can use imitation and acting, they can be very well behaved so as not to be noticed. But in Asperger teenagers, there are two groups. One who are so good, so perfect, and they try not to get into trouble. And the others think, ah, oh, to hell. I'll change my hair, I'll wear piercings, I'll oh, tattoos, you know, I hate the world. So, and there's, sorry if you can use, okay, that's, if you have that in Italy, you, to the world. And they, as we say in England, go off the rails because they hate the world, so why should I be consistent? There may be ways of forming relationships with animals so that they have lots of cats and dogs and horses and so on. So they relate to animals better than people. One of the things that the women with Asperger's can be very good at is very caring and be in the caring professions. They can be very good with little children or as nurses and have an ability to show that compassion to others to a remarkable degree. In other areas, the women, I find, are unfortunately vulnerable to relationship predators. They're not very good at character judgments and low self-esteem. Don't have a group of friends to check that someone is of good character. Become intoxicated with the attention. And they are very vulnerable to bad relationships and people taking advantage of them so there can be a history of that another aspect that occurs for the women is becoming a mother and they can make excellent mothers but the problem is confidence a typical mother intuitively knows how to be a good mother whereas these mothers are often unsure am I a good mother Am I doing the right thing? And they may need a lot of reassurance. So we're identifying some of the features, for example. The person's face may be very still. I know in Italy, people are very, you know, uh, they express things with their face, etc. But sometimes the girls and women are very still and very flat when they should be expressing emotion. Or they take a second or two to reply because they're thinking. Because normally the response, the rapport, the being in tune with the body language straight away, here it's, oh yeah. And there's a fraction of a second delay as they think, what am I supposed to say or do? And so it's very hard at this stage to define precisely what it is. But as a clinician, and this sounds unprofessional, it's a feeling. Because over the years, I've developed a schema, an internal conceptualization of hundreds, if not several thousand women, 
with Asperger's and how they fit into the variety that I've seen. And there are many different ways. And some of the women I have found have taken an interest in psychology. And I hope that one day they will develop a psychotherapy by Aspis, for Aspis, conducted by Aspis, because they understand it. <laughs>